tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to give you a quick overview of the Microstock keyword reading tool from Microstock Group. So how this works should be fairly self-explanatory, but I'll show you a few of the other features that you might not notice when you first look at it. So you type in what your image is of in the first in the box there. So if it's a cow on a prairie, I'll type in prairie and cow, and then choose the amount of images to load. And then pick the images which are most similar to your own and then click Submit. And now you can select the keywords that are most similar to your own image. And you can see as I click the words, they're added to your keyword list dynamically. Also, here's your keyword keywords to add. If, you, if you're not sure if a few of the keywords you want to use are in this list, you can add your important ones uh, right here. So if the cow is a red Angus, you could type in Angus and red. And then you can see it's dynamically added to the top of the list here. And another feature is when you scroll down looking for more keywords, the keyword list on the right and keywords to add stays on the page. So you don't have to go scrolling around to find those when you're done uh, selecting your keywords. And there's also a fairly large click target for these words. So you can click over to the edge and it'll still select the word. So you can do it fairly quickly. And there's also a keyword count up here. So right now I have 21 keywords and that's updated dynamically as you add more words so you can know when to stop. And the one thing you maybe notice that a few of these words are in larger font, that's because the more of the images that you chose that have these words in them, the larger font it is. So, so if these keywords are in all the images you selected, they'll be in the largest font. And then the smallest font is when only one or a couple of the images are using those keywords. And that's it. It's free. The link should be in the description below or right here.